In today's video, I'm going to disassemble this uh, MacBook and describe some of the components in case you need to upgrade or replace them. So let's do that together. Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Aureovation. As I said in the beginning of this video, in today's video I'm going to disassemble this MacBook Air uh, model 2017 and show you guys some of the components or describe some of the components in case you need to upgrade them or replace them. And I will show you guys also how to remove them from the logic board. Alright, uh, first of all let's talk what uh, tools we need. So first of all the opening uh, the FX uh, screwdriver set which I'm recommending on each video so whenever you're working uh, on uh, MacBook, uh, iPad or uh, iPhones I would recommend you to use the FX uh, tools and secondly we need the opening tool uh, of uh, IFX. okay just to mention something that this video has been not uh, sponsored by IFX or by any, uh, by any other company that is my own private uh, tools which I am using it all right, uh, okay, so so we got on the MacBook Air, we got two types of uh, screws. So this two screws, this two, has 9mm screws and they are uh, P5 uh, printable uh, drive screws, okay? And then we got eight over here. And these are 2.6mm screws and, and they are also uh, you can open them also with the P5 pentable uh, uh, screws. Okay, so let's uh, pick up the pen 5 Okay, so Okay, okay I got me already on the side So that is the uh, P5 Okay, so I will show you guys what is the difference between uh, 9mm and 2.6 uh, but I think it is already uh, Everyone knows what is the difference. Okay, so that is uh, the two mm, uh, the two nine mm screws. Okay, as you can see them, they are long, and then you get them two point six mm screws. Okay. Okay, so we are done. Eight plus two is ten. So let's uh, put them on side. Okay, so now uh, some of the people just love to put a screw, uh, screwdriver over here or just here on the edges to lift up uh, the back cover. But you don't need uh, to do that. You just uh, with your fa finger just go on the edge of the, uh, the between the display and the cover. And as you can see, you can just lift them up very easily. So that is back. Okay, so uh, first of all, let's uh, see some of the components what they are. So that is basically uh, the battery of uh, MacBook Air. That is the SSD. Uh, the CPU is here underneath, which you actually you cannot replace it. It is on board uh, of the logic board. It is soldered on board. Uh, the fan, and that is actually the Bluetooth or AirPort. They calling the Bluetooth or AirPort uh, card, which actually works for, for the Bluetooth and wireless uh, connection. Okay, and then uh, you got uh, here two speakers. So that is basically the right speaker, and that is the left speaker. As you can see, that both of them are different. The right speaker is actually very small, and the left speaker is it uh, larger. In case uh, you need to replace them and they, they are not working, make sure that you are the, the correct speaker because, as you can see, that they are different one. So uh, make sure that you are uh, ordering the uh, correct uh, uh, components. Okay, so uh, let's uh, talk about uh, the battery in case you need to open up uh, the battery. Okay, so on the battery uh, salad, we got also two types of uh, screws, okay? So you got a total five screws, but these three are the T5 uh, screws and they are 6.9 mm so that is 6.9 uh, this one this one and this one is 6.9 mm T5 torque screws and this 
2 or 3.0 mm T5 Torx screws and uh, just uh, to tell you guys that T5 or here uh, marked as T you are actually uh, this tar uh, bit okay and you can use that also from the IFX uh, tools Okay, so uh, if you need to replace the battery, as I mentioned before, you need to open up one, two, three, four, five uh, screws from uh, the board, or actually from the uh, MacBook. And then, um, and before doing that, make sure always that you're disconnecting the battery and whatever component you are replacing, the safety goes first. So, how you need to disconnect the battery? Just lift it up, the plastic bit, and just with two fingers, just pull it to your setup, okay? Do not pull it up because you will break uh, uh, break it. So just pull it to yourself, and as you can see, it is all done. All right. Okay. So that is. Uh, then you can just put another battery. Replace uh, you have replaced the battery. In case uh, one of the speakers are not working, uh, take for example that the right speaker is not working. And why I'm saying right speaker? As you can see, if you flip it, that's your right speaker, and that's your left speaker. Okay, so uh, you need to open up, uh, disconnect the speaker uh, first. Okay, so for disconnecting, what you need to, uh, to have that is the sponge uh, tool from the IFX tool assessments. Okay, so grab that one, just go under the cable, okay, and then just lift it up. Gently, as you can see, it is now disconnected. All right, and then uh, you need to uh, pull up the speaker. The speaker is, uh, is not connected with, uh, it's not fastened with the screws. So what you need to, you have to do again with this tool, just put it in the middle, and just kind of gently remove it like that, or you can just lift it like this as well. It's on two two ways. Okay, uh, so let's talk about uh, the SSD of uh, MacBook uh, Air. A lot of people actually like to upgrade them because on this one is a standard uh, 512 uh, GB uh, SSD. But in case you want to replace them with one terabyte, uh, you need to have something totally different. So let's uh, first of all talk about uh, removing the SSD, I just totally forgot the M2 SSD. Okay, so which screw you have over here? If that is a normal screw, that is a 2.9 mm. Okay, and uh, you can remove that one with a T5 uh, as well. So, okay, so let's grab the T5 uh, Torx screw. And I thought that was a normal screw, which is not. So, I will grab the T5. So, as you can see, that is a T5. And we got the T5. Okay, once again, so just uh, one thing that I will uh, suggest to just disconnect that one in case uh, something will happen. Or even we don't need, need it, but for the safety, I will disconnect it. Okay, so let's. Okay, so that is one screw. And now for the rest, you got nothing uh, else. Okay, so just lift it up gently. Take up the SSD, just pull the SSD. All right, uh, so that is, as you can see, that inside Apple product. The funny thing is that inside the uh, Apple product, we got the Samsung SSD. And one thing uh, to call about this M2 SSD, that is not the normal SSD, which you can't just buy. Like, uh, for example, uh, let me just grab my SSD, which I got over here. So that is not uh, the normal uh, Evo M M2 SSD, NVM uh, SSDs, but that is uh, totally different. Uh, that M2 was called by Apple the NGFF uh, SSD, or that is the uh, next generation form factor uh, SSD. And why is it? That is because of that connector which is over here. And I will show you guys why is it different than the normal SSDs, okay? 
uh, because in the market we got a lot of MV uh, models or MQ uh, models and they are different one okay so for example that one the Samsung one let's uh, pick them up okay so can you see the difference these connectors are called to different one and as you can see that the M2 that one is smaller than this one the connector bit here the connection bit uh, this one called the NGGF or sorry NGFF connector and that is the uh, normal uh, PCI uh, Express uh, mini card all right in case you want to upgrade your MacBook with one terabyte or even uh, two uh, terabyte, you cannot actually just buy it and do it like that because it's not working. As you can see, that is that is the M connector. That's called the M connector. It's on the middle. Middle. So for this one, you need special adapter, which I will show you right over here. And then you will put the connector over here, and you can just. Oh, create your MacBook. There you go. Okay, so let's uh, put that this one back on the box. And what I'm actually always uh, recommending to buy uh, the one which I actually been using for ages, that is always one terabyte or uh, or even a five hundred twelve uh, Samsung nine seventy Evo Plus. Uh, I'm not recommending nine eighty uh, plus because it is the having some uh, eating issue. So. It's still one of the recommended uh, SSDs or M2s that I'm uh, using yet, and I'm recommending everyone to use it. Okay, uh, so uh, imagine that we have replaced the SSD, and then we uh, we have faulty uh, the AirPort or Bluetooth card, which we need to actually remove from the logic mode and replace that one as well. So what we need to do first of all, just disconnect the cables. And again, we're using uh, this tool, so you will just kind of disconnect it from here. That's one, and that's two. Okay, so just put, put them on site. And uh, after that, uh, you got here one single screw that is a 2.9 mm T5 Torx screw. So again, you need to have the T5 uh, Torx uh, bit. And always, for the safety, make sure the battery is disconnected. Okay, that is disconnected. And then, never use your screwdriver on the logic board or any, on any other components. You just use always the plastic sponge. Okay, so just lift a little bit and then remove it. So that is the component of uh, the airport of this MacBook. So, okay, so let's put that one on side. Uh, if you got it, you need to order, of course, uh, what you're going to do and how you know if, if it's faulty in which one you need to uh, order. So always, there is the company number, so you can see the serial number. You can just search for the serial number or the company number and then you can just find it, which one it is, okay? Okay, uh, in case you need to uh, replace the display or something uh, like this, what you have to do first? First of all, you need to disconnect the uh, display. It is from here. I will not do that because I don't want to uh, open uh, this assemble this um, MacBook uh, totally. And then you got uh, three screws uh, over here. You need to open up, and then uh, of course uh, the cable. You need to remove the logic board, uh, the logic board uh, as well. Uh, for the people that doesn't know that board, which actually we calling on the laptops and uh, on normal laptops and desktop, the motherboard. Uh, in Apple, we are calling that one the logic board. Before removing the logic board, you have to remove a lot of screws. There's one, two, uh, three, four. Uh, I think that's like more like uh, ten somewhere, and you need to remove the fan as well. Okay, guys. So that was actually a, a short uh, disassembly of this MacBook. If you got any question or need any help, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, give a like, give a comment, and share. Thank you very much for watching this video.